A narrative paragraph tells a story in three different ways. It has a topic sentence, supporting sentences, and a concluding sentence. Within the topic sentence, the topic sentence tells the reader what the story will be about. It may also tell when and where the story took place. The topic sentence should capture the reader's interest. Within supporting sentences, they tell the details of the story, including the sequence of events. They also include sensory details, such as what you saw, heard, smelled, or tasted. They may also tell about the writer's feelings during the events. In the concluding sentence, the concluding sentence wraps up the story. It shows why the experience was important or how the writer felt after it. The Model Descriptive Paragraph Let's read another model descriptive paragraph about the best hamburger of my life. I'll begin. When I was 13 years old, I had a great surprise at the Grand Hotel in Toronto. My favorite soccer team was visiting from Mexico, so I went to the hotel to get autographs from some of the players. When I got there, I waited outside for a long time because I was very nervous. Finally, I told my legs to start moving, and I went up to my favorite striker, Sergio Verdirmi, and asked for his autograph. My voice was trembling, but I controlled it. He stopped to listen to me, and then an amazing thing happened. He invited me to his table for dinner. Could not believe it. Suddenly, I was sitting across the table from Sergio Verdirami. I ordered a big hamburger with everything on it except onions. When the food came, my hands were shaking, and I could not eat or talk. After a while, I took a deep breath and said to myself, Hey, this happens just once in your life. I got rid of my nerves and started talking with the team and enjoying my hamburger. They were really great guys and we had a good time laughing and joking together. That was the most delicious hamburger I ever ate in my life because I was eating it with my idol. Question number one. Underline the topic sentence. The answer is, when I was 13 years old, I had a great surprise at the Grand Hotel in Toronto. Question number two. Read the following events from the story. Number them in order. We have A, the writer ordered a hamburger, B, the writer was very nervous and his hands were shaking, C, the writer asked the soccer player for his autograph, D, Sergio Verdurami invited the writer to have dinner, and E, the writer overcame his fear and enjoyed his dinner. Which event occurred first? Let's take a look. That would be C, the writer asked the soccer player for his autograph. Which event happened second? D. Sergio Verdirmi invited the writer to have dinner. Which event happened third? The writer ordered a hamburger. Which event happened fourth? The writer was very nervous and his hands were shaking. And which event happened fifth? The writer overcame his fear and enjoyed his dinner. Question number three. In the concluding sentence, the writer explains what made him happiest. Which sentence best describes his final comment in the concluding sentences? Among all the choices, the best choice is B. He was able to spend time with his favorite soccer player. Completing an outline. Look at your brainstorming ideas and your free writing exercise above. Then fill in the missing information in the outline below on your own piece of paper. The topic sentence. What is the story about? Where and when did it take place? The supporting sentences. What happened first? What happened next? What else happened? How did the experience end? The concluding sentence. What was important about the experience and how did it affect you? Please complete this exercise on your own piece of paper.